But um, we had uh, was it Amber, yeah. Am Miss Amber Abernathy, Abernathy and Miss Jill Gordon, oh, yeah. Miss Aaliyah Bryant. Okay, and um, now what we want to know is one of the things we want to find out is you all went to Selma, and you walked, you did the march, partook, and went to the, some of the services, and had a chance to hear about the had a dialogue and hear about what went on. Now, what we want to know is, I mean, a lot of people out here are going to be asking questions. By doing that, did it affect you in any way? Did it make a difference in your life? If it did, how so? You can use the mic right there. Hi, I'm Amber Abernathy again. And um, I think at first, when I first went, I wasn't expecting it to be so powerful. I was thinking I was just going on a walk, pretty much with some leaders that I've heard about before. And um, basically when I got there, it was such an eye-opening experience. I was fortunate enough, because I'm on um, Congressman John Lewis's Youth Council, that I actually got to walk behind Congressman Lewis and um, Dr. King's son, um, and some other, like Al Sharpton, Reverend Al Sharpton, and some other leaders, and I was able to be right up close in the walk. And I think the first thing when I crossed the bridge, it was so eye-opening that the first thing I thought about was the peers my age, that in our community, there's, it's almost like, what are we here doing? Are we not, we're, what are we living for? Like we go around um, our pants down and everything, and to see these leaders that spent so much time and so much effort for all of us, how can we let this happen? And how can we do better as a community to gather together and improve this? Because we want to, like um, Reverend Love and so many other people said, we don't want things to change for us as a black community. We want to stay strong and continue to build up our confidence and be great leaders, because we have the ability to do that. Even, no matter where we come from, if we stick together as a community and have different, um, like my, my sisters over here, when we go into our schools, we have to represent ourselves as the way we want people to see each other. So it's up to us as leaders as well as spreading the word and awareness to other people. Um, when I went to Selma, I thought it was also a very eye-opening experience because I got to march on the bridge that um, Dr. Martin Luther King, and then also got to march on, and that everybody gets that good experience, and I just learned a lot of historical events. So. I enjoyed myself, like, going to Selma was my first time. It was, like, a great experience, being that we were already talking about the march and things like that. But it took me to actually be in the site to actually understand, like, what was going on. Um, it was a great experience actually seeing some of the leaders up there speaking and talking about rights and this and other things, like, the services and stuff like that, like, knowing your enemy. I try to get you in touch with things that happened back then so you can understand a clear point of view. But it was a great experience to me. Okay, now, I, now, I understand you want to make sure that you all dialogue, so I'm going to pass the mic around. No, I'm not going to keep speaking, but I know that there are questions as, as adults and seasoned adults that we want to talk, we want to dialogue with our youth because one of the things we have to understand is this is, the, this is our future. You know, the, and as Pastor Love said earlier, the decisions we make today affect what they can do tomorrow. So in, in knowing that, I want you to dialogue, challenge them, ask them certain things, and then at the same time so they can have more enlightenment to what you're looking at and what you're expecting. So therefore, they, it can create a more of a surge inside of them and also rekindle that fire inside of us. Okay, so who wants the money? Good evening, Walter Andrew, CWA. Did you all, this is for all three of y'all, did you share it with your classmates when you got back to your respective schools? Yes, I did. I um, immediately when I got back home, my parents can attest to this. I went on Facebook, I was posting pictures of experience, and I was really excited about it because hopefully I wish more people would be could be exposed to this. So hopefully. I don't know if there's a way as a community we can all get together and send more people down there as a group. So I thought it was really important and it's a good experience and more people should be a part of it. I also 
share the pictures with my friends and stuff as soon as I got to school, and they also thought it was very cool and stuff how I was able to see all those sites. Um, I share information like with my class. Do you have like a celebration moment? Like we get to talk about things that we've done like over the weekend. So I, I show them like videos and pictures that I took, like of us marching, actually marching across the bridge. But it, it was like it looked like it was fun, but it really was. <laughs> uh, Fred B. Man Watson in the National Campaign for Victor over Watson, Dad's on duty. You looked at Selma and you got a chance to see the history and see the you know, the Pettus Bridge and saw what they went through and, I mean, in their generation and the challenges they were facing in terms of racism, in terms of, you know, in terms of discrimination, in terms of uh, just the challenges of education and so forth. And you saw that that march was to galvanize that whole movement back then. So that was their Selma of their day. If you were to say, what is the Selma of your day, what would that be? I guess it's almost, I don't, I don't know if it's on track, but the sum of our day, in a way, it's almost Twitter, Facebook, and social media, because that's how we all find out and find awareness and promote each other and um, find out about certain issues in the world. So I think that's how we can connect with each other. I mean, there's so many, even YouTube and all the different other social networks, that's how we all connect and that's how we raise awareness for certain. I think that you missed my question. What I'm saying, the self of their day was generated because of the challenges of their times. And the times were education, you know, of, uh, discrimination, you know, fair treatment, all those kind of things. And, and so that was to, to mobilize all the people that they could behind those issues, you know, when they were from across the country. So I'm saying today, if you were to say Selma, I know you went to the march in Selma to commemorate what was done by the elders before you. So I said, if you were to have a Selma today, what would be, what would your march be about? What would be the causes that would drive you and your generation to have, what is your Selma, what is your Selma challenge? I don't want to like, I don't know, like, okay, um, let's see. Um, um, our, I think our Selma, would almost be about justice, pretty much, because there's so many issues out in the world right now, like that we've experienced and been through, like the Troy Davis case. I know that was a big issue for us recently as um, young leaders to watch. And the same thing with the Trayvon Martin case. All of those revolve around justice right now. So if we were to have a Selma, it'd be mainly on our justice system in America. Is it even relevant? Because it's so. Many had questions about how I was able to go there and what it was about. So I think most of them were pretty interested and wish they were able to go too. <laughs> I mean, like, my friends, they were very interested. They also wanted to experience the thing that I had experienced there. And they hoped to go soon. Like, you know, one day just go and just experience everything because they've never been before or they really know much about it. Well, I have a question, I'm ask a question. Did you get any negative feedback from your peers? Was there any negative feedback from your peers? Like, what's the relevance of this? What, what was, no, what, man, what, uh, you know, I mean, what, what did you get in that kind of comment? I didn't get so much negative feedback, but I actually, I have some white friends and they were kind of asking me like, what is this? What is it about? Why is it so important? So it wasn't so much as negative as just wanting to be informed about it, I guess.